This is the Dell Inspiron 14 3000 series, the 3443 to be specific. It's one of Dell's mid-range products, something with decent specs, and it's actually the laptop that I am using at the moment. It's not the greatest, but definitely far from the worst. The design is very basic. I got the black version, which looks sleek and all that. I really like the design at the top of the laptop, which has a texture to it and provides really good grip. Generally speaking though, the thing looks like something from 2002, very outdated design. The material is mostly plastic, but the black paint job makes it look like it's carbon fiber or something. It's not very thick and can very easily be carried around. However, I don't like the fact that you can't open the laptop with one hand. As for ports, on the left there's a charging port, an HDMI output, an Ethernet port and two USB ports, and a combined headphone and microphone jack. On the right there's an optical drive, a USB port and an SD card reader. The back has nothing and the front has an LED light which mostly indicates low battery and charging. The fan noise is rather good, it's more on the quiet side, not too loud. The speakers are downward facing and are placed at the front of the chest. The sound is just okay but can get muffled depending on the surface the laptop is resting on. The laptop comes with a 14 inch LCD with a resolution of 1366 by 736 and a refresh rate of 60 Hz. The brightness is not the best but it's visible outdoors. The viewing angles however are not that good as tilting the display to the left or right causes some shifting of the colors. Even when the laptop is sitting on a flat surface, sometimes the colors do shift a little unless you tilt the display forwards or backwards a bit. And the display can't be pushed all the way back, it stops just a little over 90 degrees. It's also quite reflective. Also, the bezels on this laptop are rather large. I feel there was enough room to fit a 15.6 inch display and still have enough space on the top to fit a webcam. But overall, it gets the job done. The keyboard is a little on the small side and the keys do like travel. They can't be compared to anything like the butterfly keys on Apple MacBooks. Another downside of the keyboard is it doesn't have any backlighting, so typing in the dark is rather difficult. The trackpad is big with integrated left and right click buttons. It's made out of plastic, but it gets the job done. It uses Synaptics drivers, not the Windows Precision drivers. The clicks seem like the whole trackpad is clickable, but only the bottom part where the buttons are are clickable. The camera can shoot videos up to 720p and the quality is pretty mediocre, even in good lighting. But it gets the job done through Skype calls and Facebook video calls and the like. The laptop comes with an Intel 5th gen Core i7-5500U processor and 8GB RAM. It also comes with NVIDIA GeForce 840M dedicated graphics with 2GB video memory. Unfortunately, there's only one RAM slot, which means only one RAM chip at a time. The performance is not bad at all. Opening and closing applications is mostly lag free, and it handles some light gaming without breaking a sweat. It does get warm under heavy load, but not to an unbearable extent. The laptop comes with a 40 watt hour battery. Depending on what you do with the machine, you can get up to 5 hours of battery life if the performance settings are on basic mode and it's under moderate usage, which is just about average. On a video test, it lasted a little over 3 hours, but the battery drains a lot faster when you're playing intensive games. Overall, this is a great laptop for the price. It's got an ok display, decent RAM and a dedicated graphics card, which does help improve performance. And since this is not the latest, it can be acquired for a really good price. I definitely recommend this laptop over any latest but entry level laptop any day.